I had a buddy uh, bought a Whitby 42 uh, recently and it got trucked up here from down the East Coast someplace. First time I laid eyes on it was like uh, March. Hadn't been tarped over. We got a mild day, had a ton of snow on the deck and he's got two huge fuel tanks down there. Uh, Whitby 42, it's a center cockpit sailboat. Um, and it's got just a gentle shear on it, right? Right beside both cockpits, down under the engines, right under the cockpit. On either side, there's a big fuel tank. So right at the low part of the shear is the two fuel fills. Here we are sitting there with this much water on top of the fuel fills on the deck. It's not draining, right? Where's it going? If that O-ring is not sealed 100%, and none of them do, it's going down into your fuel tanks. So there's a real good source for uh, water in your fuel. So uh, check those things. Uh, there, there's a, usually an O-ring on them. Change the O-rings. Uh, put some Vaseline or something on there to lubricate them. Um, t snug them down properly when you're done refueling. And um, if you don't like the, the style of them, change them. Um, there is some that actually sit up proud um, and they actually have a cap. Normally the cap goes down in the hole. There's some new ones on the market. The threaded cap is only part of it, and it's got a mushroom top ahead that goes down like that and covers it. So the water would have to go up under it like that. It's not going to stop the situation where it was actually flooded, but in a normal situation, it's going to stop the water from going on. Years ago, I bought a stainless steel one. I was refitting my 30-foot boat. Nice stamped stainless steel one. Looked pretty, right? Nice and shiny. Took it home, looked at it, unscrewed it a couple of times, and said, I'm just not happy with this O-ring design. Set it on the counter, got out a, a cup of water, and poured it just where the, 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 the plug met the actual body. Sat there and watched it. Water disappeared. Lifted up, water's on the counter. It was just running right straight through, and that was a brand new one. Uh, that one went back. That went back where it came from. Right? So, um, yeah, so a big source of uh, water in your fuel. Okay, so we said you're never going to stop it, but try to prevent it. Know where you're getting your fuel from, too. Um, you're going to get condensation. Um, it comes in the jerry cans. It comes with the delivery of the fuel to the marina or to the wherever you're getting it. Um, but it's going to get in there one way or the other. So now we got to get it out, okay? The, uh, it's really important to get the, uh, the, the water out. Um, and that's where our fuel water separators come in too. On our fuel systems, we have what we call a primary and a secondary. The secondary is usually the one that the manufacturer installs and at the factory, and it's kind of a fail-safe thing. They wouldn't sell you an engine uh, without a, a filter on it, um, partly for their, uh, their protection. They don't want uh, it screwing up the pump and injectors and you coming back to them for warranty. So they, they, put, a, they put something on there. There's something resembles this. This is a Yanmar one right here. Okay, this little canister thing. This is what the Yanmar puts on. That's their little filter. Okay, the cup's supposed to collect any water. It's got an O-ring on here. They put them in god-awful places. They're hard to change, but it just literally sticks up in there, and uh, but it has very little capacity, right? So the water's going to overwhelm that filter in short order, and it, it will go right straight through that filter. Um, that's, that's the Yanmar thing. This come off a little uh, Kubota engine off a generator. Uh, that's kind of rinky-dink. Generator, same thing, it just plugs on there. Oh, that one screws on. Um, anyway, how much is that going to filter out? It's a screen at best, right? It's your second uh, fail-safe. Right, but that's what comes with the manufacturers. This is uh, for the Westerbeaks or Universals. You'll notice this little guy. Same thing. Look at the size of it. No, no ability to drain the water off any any of these. Right, unless you literally take it off and change it. They all have an O-ring and a filter of some kind. Right. Filters come in different micron values. The smaller the micron value, uh, the 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 better the filter. Okay. Um, we're down to two microns is the smallest ones you can buy, but most of them, these proprietary ones are, are, are generally in the 30 uh, micron range. Um, a lot of the people won't even give you the specs on them, but they don't want them too fine because they don't want it stopping up the fuel. Um, so they, they, they don't make them very, very um, uh, fine. Uh, 30 microns is uh, it's like a fishnet, you know, big, 
big uh, big holes in it, you know. The little guys are going to get through, right? So we need, uh, we need something that's going to catch the little guys. So that's where the primaries come in. Uh, we have to be able to filter any uh, sediment out, any impurities, uh, but especially the water. So most of the aftermarket ones come, a lot of older boats had this god-awful old thing on there. I found this back in the back end of a Hunter years ago. I asked the guy where his primary filter was, and he said he had no idea what I was talking about. I'm in there working on his inch, and I spied this thing, and I went back there, and it was completely full of water. It was in a spot. He'd never even, he never even knew it was there. I swear it had never been serviced since the day it was new. And it's got this little centered filter in there. That was the god awfulest black thing you ever saw in your life. It was all full of that black gungy. You can actually see some of it down in the bottom of, of it. There, smelly, messy old thing. And uh, like I said, he didn't even know it was there. And it was in, in such a spot you, you could never get it to it to, to uh, um, service it properly. So that one went out and a nice new Raycor went in there. Um, here's a very popular one. You'll see this on all kinds of engines. It's a cheap filter. Um, you can get them. Uh, uh, fits all kinds of different applications. Um, sometimes they have a clear uh, glass bowl here and then a little steel uh, or a little aluminum bottom on it. They come in all kinds of different configurations. They all use this same replaceable filter. Um, different names on them, but same, same thing. Um, you can buy these at the Napa store. They're about five bucks, but again, they're only five or six bucks. Um, not bad quality, uh, better than nothing. Um, you can get them down to 20 microns if you buy them at the, at the Napa store. Uh, the rest of them I, I really don't know. A lot of people don't publish the, the literature. I really had to press the Napa people to find out the, uh, the uh, uh, micron value on that one for me. Trouble with this is, you get a bolt up here, you undo it, drops this down. You can put, there's, there's a drain plug in it, but it's this silly plastic thing that's got an O-ring on it and they're hard to get out or they leak. There's an O-ring here, there's an O-ring up in here, there's an O-ring here. So now we've got three different O-rings. They're all different sizes depending on, to give you a kit of them. You put them out there, line these up. See that one's not the same as that one. Okay. That one's not the same as that one. I've seen three different size O-rings in the packages. So this is one size down here. This is another size up here. After they've been together for a while, you really got to fight with them. You got to get a pick, something sharp, and you got to go up in there and hook it. It, it, it. It's a whole lot better than some of these smaller ones, uh, but this is a primary one. Those other ones were secondary examples. Um, but uh, I've changed those out on brand new boats as well, right? So then we get, this is an aftermarket one, this is, a, this is a primary one here. This is a Raycor, and it's good quality. You can put a drain plug in this one, right? And uh, again, but it's so tiny. I, again, Raycor is very, very good value. But here we go, you gotta drop that down. There's more of that black stuff. Look at the black in the filter here. Um, the black stuff, is that the bacteria? Yeah. These are all off boats from here in Ontario. Uh, and it's, it's just an accumulation of gunge. Here's an O-ring in here too. The bottom of the boat's right here and it's back under a bunk. How do I get to that O-ring? Okay, and they're square O-rings. If you don't get that in there square, you get it rolled, you put it back together. Either you got a fuel leak or you got an air leak, one or the other. And either way, the engine's not gonna run. <laughs>